You are looking live high above the air from City Hall here in Center City, Philadelphia, where for a second day, abortion rights supporters are protesting yesterday's Supreme Court Roe versus Wade reversal. Good evening. I'm Jill Holden. We have Team 3 coverage tonight. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute, live outside of City Hall with uh, things going on right there. And Jasmine, tell us about the mood. Hi, Joe. The crowd has been steadily building here. A few moments ago, you could hear them chanting. The organizer says about 200 people RSVP'd, but after yesterday's rally, they're expecting more. Just take a look at some of these signs here. They have a bunch of different ways for essentially saying the same thing, which is women should be in charge of their reproductive health. This rally comes days after the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and eliminated constitutional protections for abortion rights. The organizer says this is her first time spearheading a protest, but she felt she had to do something. It just, as soon as I heard it, just, like, I just felt it in my gut. I was so angry, and I was like, we can't just stop by and let this happen. Like, we need the, right now, reproductive rights is something that is, it should just be universal, and it should be something national, and we need more representation, and we need people to take it seriously. So I felt like if we were out and you know, making people aware of it and driving people to vote, maybe we could actually make a change and something would happen for the better. Again, back here live, there's about three dozen people here, and the crowd has been steadily building since 6 o'clock. This protest is expected to end around 8 o'clock. The organizer says they will be stationary here at City Hall for anyone who wants to join. We're live at City Hall. Jasmine Payu, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jasmine, we will keep tabs. Thank you for that live report.